Greetings friends, Sleepy here, and welcome to a collection video. Today we're going to take an updated look at my Xbox 360 collection. I absolutely love uh, the Xbox 360. It's my second all-time favorite console. Uh, the first one is the original Xbox, followed by the Xbox 360. I've uh, owned the console since it launched back in 2005. I actually went to GameStop for the midnight launch of the Xbox 360. I was one of the lucky few who got my pre-order in uh, early enough that I was guaranteed uh, the console on launch day. And I've loved the console ever since. I've logged thousands of hours over the years on it in hundreds and hundreds of uh, titles. It has such an amazing library. I've built up my collection uh, over the years, and I'm currently sitting at over 500 titles uh, for the Xbox 360. Such a wonderful console. We've got a lot of titles, guys, so we're going to get started here. First up, I have a copy of Warhammer uh, 40,000 Space Marine, NBA 2K6. I love the NBA 2K games. NBA 2K9, NBA 2K10, NBA 2K11, Rock Band, Country Track Pack 2, Dead or Alive Extreme 2, Infernal Hell's Vengeance, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, Pro Evolution Soccer 2012, Crash Time Autobahn Pursuit, Pure, Automatus Excellent, Race Pro, uh, Darksiders 2 The Limited Edition, Sega Rally Revo, uh, World of Outlaw Sprint Car, that's a fun game, Test Drive Ferrari Racing Legends, Indianapolis 500 Evolution, Grid, Import Tuner Challenge, that's a really awesome game, Record Argus of War Zero, and Original Record Argus of War, which is actually still sealed, Left 4 Dead, and Left 4 Dead 2, some awesome uh, zombie games, have Escape from Dead Island, WWE Legends of WrestleMania, Damnation, Lego Batman 2, Lego Indiana Jones 2, FIFA Soccer 2013, FIFA Soccer 2006, uh, Metro 2033, love uh, the Metro games, looking forward to the new Metro Exodus that comes out next year, uh, Metro Last Light, Halo 4, which is awesome, X-Men Destiny, Alan Wake, love this game, definitely recommend picking it up, Mercenaries 2, World in Flames, another awesome game, Kengo Legend of the Nine, Skylanders Giants, Need for Speed The Run, Vanquish, The Incredible Hulk, this game is awesome, Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway, another one I would recommend, Dance Dance Revolution 2 Universe, Dynasty Warriors 5 Empires, I'm a huge Dynasty Warriors fan, Battlefield Bad Company, Far Cry Instincts Predator, two awesome games, Bioshock and Bioshock 2, absolutely loved the, uh, Bioshock Trilogy, very good games. Uh, the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, love uh, the Elder Scrolls games, they're awesome. Ridge Racer Unbounded, Test Drive 2 Unlimited, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, the Limited Edition, Blaze Blue, Continuum Shift, Fracture, Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage, Crackdown, an absolutely wonderful title, 50 Cent, Blood on the Sand, Rainbow Six Vegas 2, the original Gears of War, absolutely love Gears of War, big fan of the series, absolutely love it, Rainbow Six Vegas 1, Sonic Unleashed, Alone in the Dark, Prototype, Ratatouille, Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, that was a fun game, Condemn Criminal Origins, NHL 2008, El Shaddai, Unreal Tournament, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon 2 Advanced Warfighter, NCAA Football 2011, Yaibo Ninja Gaiden Z, Mirror's Edge. Move on to the next stack here. Have the Sega Superstar Tennis and Xbox Live Arcade Bundle. Black Sight Area 51, good title. I have the Dreamcast Collection, which has four classic Dreamcast games. Brand new and sealed. Definitely recommend getting this for the 360, especially if you're a fan of the Dreamcast. Some great titles there. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Battlefield Bad Company 2. Call of Duty 3, probably my least favorite in the Call of Duty series. Uh, Bulletstorm Epic Edition, that was a fun game. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Aliens, Colonial Marines, I was a little disappointed in the final product, but I still enjoyed the game, and if you're a big fan of Aliens, I definitely recommend the game. You can get it for cheap, and it's still fun. 
Dead or Alive 4, Prince of Persia Limited Edition, which was a gift for my brother several years ago. Awesome game. Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger, Dragon Ball Z for Connect, Home Front, which was a really fun game. It got a lot of hate, but I liked it. Our Victory, a fun World War II shooter. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, still brand new and sealed. Tomb Raider Underworld, which is a Walmart edition. Medal of Honor Limited Edition. Medal of Honor Warfighter. Madden 2008. You Draw Studio Artist. Spider-Man. Web of Shadows, such an amazing Spider-Man game. Definitely recommend getting that if you're a fan of Spider-Man. Prey. Defiance. And Forza 2 Motorsport. This is the Platinum Hits. It comes with all the content. Still brand new and sealed. Uh, Lord of the Rings Conquest. This plays just like the Star Wars Battlefront games, but with Lord of the Rings. It's really cool. Uh, Dark Sector. Great game. And this one came with a bonus strategy guide. Pro Evolution Soccer 2008. Pro Evolution Soccer 2007. Dead to Rights Retribution. Such an awesome game uh, in the Dead to Rights series. Madden 2006. Star Trek Legacy. One of my favorite Star Trek uh, games released on consoles. Dark Messiah Might and Magic uh, Elements. Hitman Absolution. Pro Evolution Soccer 2011, Last Remnant, that's a fun RPG. 007 Quantum of Solace, great uh, James Bond game, recommend that one. Castlevania, Lords of Shadow, awesome title. Naruto, Rise of a Ninja, another awesome game. Viking, Battle for Asgard, this game is awesome, definitely would recommend that. XCOM, Enemy, uh, Enemy Unknown, awesome game. Brave, A Warrior's Tale, Lollipop Chainsaw. Pro Evolution Soccer 2009, Grand Theft Auto 4, awesome game, love this, definitely recommend. If you never played it before, pick it up, you will love it. Blade Storm: The Hundred Years War, Rise of the Argonauts, fun title. Dead Space series, absolutely love them, one of my favorite uh, survival horror games, really uh, amazing. If you've never played them, you definitely need to get all three. Got the first one here, We've got Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3, such an amazing trilogy, definitely recommend you get that. Lego Harry Potter, Gears 1 to 4. Gears of War 3, love the Gears series. X-Men Origins, Wolverine Uncaged Edition, such an amazing game. Best X-Men game they've ever made. Super violent and bloody, amazing game. If you love Wolverine, you'll absolutely love this title, so pick it up. The Outfit, Inversion, South Park, The Stick of Truth. Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. The original Mass Effect, such a masterpiece. Batman, Arkham City, an amazing Batman game I recommend. Lego Lord of the Rings, very fun. Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit, great game. Diablo 3 is awesome. There's another Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Bound by Flame. Two Worlds, love this game. Got a lot of hate, but I really enjoyed it. Fable 3, love the Fable series. This was the ultimate edition of Dragon Age Origins. Came with the game and the expansion pack, plus the DLC. There's the expansion pack alone. Uh, Dragon Age 2, this is the signature edition. I like this game, but not as much as the original Dragon Age. Game of Thrones was awesome. Hunted Demon's Forge, that was great. Knight's Contract, another awesome game. And next up, we have the three Risen games, which I love uh, Risen. I still got to defeat the first one, and then I can get number two, which is actually still sealed. And then I have the third one, Risen Titan Lords. All right, moving on to the next stack here. We've got Marvel Superhero Squad, Monster Madness. Lost Planet 3, love the Lost Planet games. FIFA Soccer 2010, FIFA Soccer 2009, FIFA Soccer 2007, Sean White Skateboarding, this is the Best Buy Exclusive Edition, Tony Hawk's Proving Ground, Rockstar Table Tennis, awesome game if you like table tennis, that's fun. The very first Assassin's Creed, love this game, made me fall in love with the series. Red Dead Redemption, amazing game. Uh, Titanfall, not a big fan of that. D-Packs, Capatra, whatever this is. Some Kinect game. Not really interesting at all. Uh, Lost Odyssey, great RPG. Naval Assault, The Killing Tide. Air Conflicts, uh, Vietnam. Birds of Steel. Apache Air Assault. Call of War as the Cartel. That's a pretty fun one. Over G Fighters. Another Need for Speed uh, hot game here. Hot Pursuit. We've got Secret Service. Metal Gear Solid V, Ground Zeroes. Tropica 3 and Battleship. Next stack here, we've got Clive Barker's Jericho. The Serious Sam collection has four legendary games plus DLC. Very cool collection. Dark Star 1 Broken Alliance. Spectral Force 3. Eat Lad the Matt Hazard 
or Eat Lead, the return of Matt Hazard. Very cool first person shooter. Just Cause, awesome title. The Devil May Cry HD Trilogy Collection, actually it's brand new and sealed. Hannah Montana, the movie, would never recommend that game to anybody. Smackdown vs. Raw 2011. Call of War as Bound in Blood. Front Mission Evolved. Deadly Premonition, such an awesome and weird quirky game. Uh, definitely recommend checking out if you like horror games. It's a combination of several different genres of games. Very cool though, and it's unique. Uh, Most Wanted, Need for Speed, this is the 2012 like reimagining of the original one that launched in 2005. Need for Speed Rivals. Legendary is a really cool first person shooter. Alien Isolation, one of the best alien games they've uh, ever made. Absolutely love it. Recommend picking it up. Middle Earth Shadow of Mortar, one of my favorite Lord of the Rings games of all time. Such an amazing one. I also love the sequel, uh, Shadow, the uh, Shadow Wars. Very cool one. We got uh, Split Second, Grand Theft Auto, Episodes of Liberty City. These are the two DLC expansions for Grand Theft Auto 4. Very cool compilation. Uh, Resident Evil 6. Lost Planet 2, Midway Arcade Origins has some great classic Midway Arcade games, Major League Baseball 2008, Chaotic Shadow Warriors, and the Orange Box, which has a collection of five awesome games. Love this collection. Definitely recommend it. All right. Next up, we have Conflict Denied Ops, Supreme Commander 2, an awesome RTS, Test Drive Unlimited, one of my favorite racing games of all time, Ridge Racer 6, Raven's God, which is a really cool first-person shooter slash RTS hybrid. You can switch between the two gameplays on the fly. Very awesome. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. DuckTales Remastered. This is a remaster of the NES DuckTales game. It's amazing. The original Supreme Commander. Lord of the Rings at Battle for Middle-Earth 2. This is a Lord of the Rings RTS. It's awesome. Universe at War. The Godfather game. Awesome title. Uh, World Championship Poker All-In featuring Howard Lederer. Tekken Tag Tournament 2, the Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, such an awesome game, uh, Street Fighter X Tekken, so this is a Street Fighter vs. Tekken game, really neat, the second prototype, uh, South Africa 2010 FIFA soccer game, uh, Naughty Bear, this is a really, really cool uh, title. I uh, definitely would recommend getting the Gold Edition of it because you get all the DLC, but you get to play as a stuffed bear naughty bear and you get to defluff all the other bears it's really comical and funny different ways to kill them definitely would recommend getting it very fun game anarchy reigns fuse overlord such an awesome uh series i have uh, both of them they're very fun i would recommend them both and metal gear solid 5 phantom pain halo wars is awesome it's a halo rts game very very cool I also have the Battlefield Bad Company Gold Edition. Love the game, so I had to get the Gold Edition to go with my regular copy. And Dead or Alive 5, which I love the Dead or Alive series. You definitely can't go wrong with those. Next up, we have Section 8, Vampire Ring, Guilty Gear 2 Overture, Clash of Titans, a video game. Very cool game. It got some hate, but I absolutely loved it. Create with your imagination. World of Tanks, the 360 edition. History, Legends of War Patton, which this looked really cool. Operation Flashpoint Dragon Rising. Dynasty Warriors 7, absolutely love uh, Dynasty Warriors games. This is my second favorite of all time. Dynasty Warriors 6 Empires is an awesome game because it combines Dynasty Warriors with uh, a board game type like uh, Risk. Plays just like that, but with Dynasty Warriors, and it's very, very cool. Uh, Dynasty Warriors Strike Force is not my probably the least favorite Dynasty Warriors game, but... Uh, I got it only because I love Dynasty Warriors. I wouldn't recommend it unless you're an absolute huge Dynasty Warriors fan like I am. There's the Naughty Bear Gold Edition I was talking about with all the extra DLC. Such a fantastic title. The original Lego Indiana Jones. Catherine, this is an awesome and unique puzzle game. You definitely have to pick it up and try it out if you never have. Very interesting game and it's very cool. 99 Nights is like a Dynasty Warriors type game. Tony Hawk's Project 8, such an awesome game in the Tony Hawk series. Ninja Gaiden 3, love the series, it's awesome. Battlefield 2, Modern Combat is great. Dynasty Warriors 8, one of my favorite Dynasty War games of all time. Samurai Warriors 2 Empires, another great title. Assassin's Creed 2 is great. The original Saints Row is really cool, plays just like Grand Theft Auto. UFC 2009 Undisputed. 
Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog was not the best uh, Sonic game out there, but it's okay. Bully Scholarship Edition, that was a fun title. Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic Heroes, this one's brand new and sealed. I did rent it a long time ago and I liked it. Black College Football Extreme, a pretty uncommon sports game for the 360. IL-2 Stu Morvik, Birds of Prey, a very cool uh, plane combat game. We got Tom, uh, Tom, geez, Top Gun Hardlock, Heroes Over Europe, Damage Inc., Pacific Squadron, World War II, Dead Island Riptide, which I absolutely love the Dead Island series, Crash of the Titans, this is an awesome uh, crash game, there's uh, two of them for the 360, and they're very, very expensive to find these days, like 20, 30, 40 bucks for a copy, but they're definitely worth getting, uh, the Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, G.I. Joe Rise of the Cobra. This was a really fun game. Definitely best to play it in a co-op with a buddy. Shadows of the Damned. Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. NHL 2011. Disney's Cars 2. Project Sealfield. This was a really cool title. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Love the Ultimate Alliance uh, series. Very fun place, just like the X-Men Legends games. Saints Row 2 was great. Jane's Advanced Strike Fighters. Rogue Warrior, this is awesome. Main character is voiced by Mickey Rourke. There's lots of swearing. It's really violent. Definitely an awesome title you should check out. and You can get it pretty cheap. Ace Combat Assault Horizon. Air Conflict Secret Wars. Tomb Raider, this is a Steelbook edition. Awesome game. I also have the Steelbook for Dead Island Riptide. And I've got the Steelbook for Assassin's Creed 3, which I definitely need to play once I beat Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And I've got the Steelbook for Grand Theft Auto V. Moving on, we have Lost Planet Extreme Conditions. Such a great title. The Star Wars Force Unleashed. Love that series. Warriors Orochi, another one I love. Lego Harry Potter, years 5 to 7. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. This is the one I still need to finish beating. Assassin's Creed Revelations. Lego Star Wars 3. Overlord 2, which is awesome. Monopoly. Love the Monopoly games on the uh, Xbox here. I play with my wife and our son. The Legendary Edition of Skyrim that has all the DLC. Dark Souls 2 Black Armor Edition that came with my Collector's Edition. Warriors Orochi 2. Batman Arkham Asylum. This is the 3D version game of the year. Uh, awesome game. Love this. One of the best Batman games ever made. Uh, Dead Rising 2 Off the Records. The original Dead Rising, absolutely love uh, zombie games, and Dead Rising 1 and 2 are some of my favorites. Uh, the Lego Batman, Amurta, uh, City of Gangsters, The Bureau, XCOM, Declassified, Bionic Commando, The Darkness 2, such an awesome uh, first-person shooter, Shellshock 2, Blood Trials, I definitely, or Blood Trails, I definitely love this title, I did get a lot of hate because it wasn't as good as the first one, but I absolutely loved it because it was this very dark and a very uh, cool story, definitely would recommend that one. Warriors Orochi 3, uh, The Born Conspiracy, this is a very uh, fun game, I definitely would recommend it. Singularity, this is a hidden gem uh, for the 360, such an amazing uh, first person shooter, has a very cool story, I would definitely recommend it. Another copy of Grand Theft Auto V. One of the scenic games. This is Box Office Smash. Near. Lord of the Rings War in the North. A very awesome Lord of the Rings RPG. The First Templar. Such an awesome title. The Cursed Crusade is really cool. Sacred 3. Not as good as Sacred 2. Brutal Legend. Gears of War 2, my favorite in the of all the Gears of War games, has the best story for myself. Has some of the greatest uh, characters in it, like Ty and uh, B. Carmine. Definitely a good game in the series. We have FIFA Soccer 2011. Divinity 2, the Dragon Knight Saga. This has a Divinity 2, plus it has the uh, sequel slash expansion pack thing they did for it. There's the original Dragon Age, or Dragon Age, geez, Divinity 2. Echo Draconis, and this was a Best Buy pre-order version. Dungeon Siege 3, which was fun. Fable 2, awesome game. Dante's Inferno, this is awesome. You play as Dante who goes to hell, and you have to fight all kinds of different demons and stuff. Plays just like a God of War game. Very awesome, I would recommend it. Batman Arkham Origins, another great Batman title. Ninja Gaiden 2, my favorite in the Ninja Gaiden series. 
Rage Anarchy Edition, such an awesome game. Great first-person shooter. Highly recommend this. Uh, pick it up sometime. It's cheap and it's awesome. Soldier of Fortune Payback. SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, probably my favorite wrestling game on the 360. I can tell you how many hundreds of hours I put into this game with my friends. Skylander Spirals Adventure, Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom, Assassin's Creed 3, Alpha Protocol. Unfortunately, this is in a generic case. I need to get a complete copy sometime. Guitar Hero 5. My wife loves the Guitar Hero series, and so does our son, so I got a lot of these for them to play. And Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. Another great one in the Prince of Persia series. All right, guys, we still got several more titles to go through. Uh, I have Venetica here, which is an awesome action RPG. I've been playing this the past uh, several weeks, and I've already put in like 25 hours. Absolutely loving it. Can't wait uh, to beat it. Ultimate Mortal Co or Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, Connect Game Motion Sports Play for Real. A uh, Connect Disneyland. Connect Fighters Uncaged. Uh, Hulk Hogan's main event for Connect. Hitman, oh, Blood Money, love the Hitman games, that one's awesome. Arcania Gothic 4, this is a really cool action RPG game, I definitely would recommend it. Doesn't have the best graphics or best voice actors, but it was a very fun title. Uh, the original Call of Juarez, which is fun. Halo Reach, awesome title, definitely if you're a fan of Halo and you haven't played it, get Halo Reach, you will absolutely love it, it's a great game. Of course, have to have the Halo 1 HD remaster. Uh, this is awesome because it lets you play the game with a press of a button, either with the new HD graphics or the classic original Xbox graphics by simply pushing a button. Such an amazing title. Definitely get it for the 360. You have to have it. Amazing game and flagship title for the Xbox. Uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist. Rock Band. Track Pack Volume 2. Blades of Time. This is a very cool title. Assassin's Creed Rogue. Michael Jackson's The Experience for Connect. Silent Hill Downpour, love the Silent Hill games, and this has become one of my favorite games. Absolutely uh, love this one. Great one. NBA 2K7, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, and Viva Pinata. This is a Platinum Hits double pack. Very cool game. Carrier Command, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutants in Manhattan, another fun title. Mind Jack, that was a cool game. Just Cause 2 is awesome. I love played the first two. I haven't played the third one, but uh, number two so far is my absolute favorite. We'll have to see how number three is. NBA 2K8 and Infinite Undiscovery. This is an action RPG that's definitely fun. Only on Xbox 360. I highly recommend it. If you're an RPG fan, get it. You will not be disappointed. Uh, the Darkness this is an awesome horror first-person shooter. Great game. The original Fear, so awesome. I love the Fear series. I recommend getting all of them. I also have Fear Files, which is a standalone expansion for number one. Fear 2 Project Origin and Fear 3. Such a great series. I recommend all the Fear games. Full Auto is a racing and battling combat game. Very cool. Project Gotham Racing 4 is great. Moto GP 7. Wolfenstein from 2009, such an amazing title. You can no longer get this on Steam anymore. It's been delisted. The only way to get it is on consoles. Such a great title. If you love Wolfenstein games, you got to get this 2009 version because it is awesome. An amazing game. Has a great story. Very fun. Uh, Duke Nukem Forever. Frontlines. Fuel of War. MotoGP 06. Another awesome game. I love uh, motorcycle racing games in the MotoGP series. It's great. Command & Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars. Absolutely love Command & Conquer. And these are some of my favorite uh, Command & Conquer games for consoles. Of course, you know, they're better on PCs. But for console ports, they're very good. I also have the expansion pack, Kane's Wrath for Command & Conquer 3. And I also have Command & Conquer uh, Red Alert 3. Awesome games. Recommend all those. Simpsons game, one of my favorite Simpsons games of all time. Tons of great characters. They're all voiced by the actors. And it's very fun. It has a great story. Earth Defense Force 2025. I love the Earth Defense Force games. You get to fight giant robots, aliens, bugs, and stuff. Very fun game. It's really cool. Definitely recommend checking out. Halo 3 ODST is cool. Call of Duty World at War, my absolute favorite Call of Duty of all time. Love this game. Has some of my favorite characters. One of them being uh, Rezanov. Awesome dude. NBA 2K13. Xbox Live Unplugged uh, Volume 1 has some great Xbox Live Arcade titles. Great compilation. Cube, you get three great puzzle titles. The Walking Dead Survive Instinct. This is a Walking Dead first-person shooter. Got a lot of hate, but I rented it and liked it, so I had to pick up a copy for myself. It's great. 
Blood Bowl and L.A. Noir, which is an awesome game where you get to play as a detective, solving crimes and stuff. Very cool game. Definitely would recommend checking it out. Next up, we have Aliens vs. Predator, which came with my Hunter Edition. This is the steelbook for it. Such an amazing game. Loved Aliens vs. Predator ever since I played it on the Super Nintendo, the arcade, on the PC. Even the Atari Jaguar had one. And this one on the uh, 360 is awesome. Definitely would recommend getting it if you're a fan. Uh, Grid 2, Grid Autosport, Dirt Showdown, The First Dirt, Driver San Francisco, Need for Speed, Shift 2 Unleashed, X Blades, that's a cool title. Connect Adventures is actually a fun uh, Connect game, great for families. Earth Defense Force 2017, another great game. Uh, Sniper Elite 3, Sniper Elite V2, and Sniper Ghost Warrior 2. Uh, definitely would like to get into those sniper games. I know they're really good, and my buddy Dean recommended them to me. Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days. TNA Impact. This is a fun uh, wrestling game with some classic wrestlers that left WCW to go to this one that was uh, bought by WWE. Uh, Crash Mind Over Mutant. Here's the other one I have for the 360. Great title, but definitely another one of those that's pricey. Remember Me. Gears of War Judgment. Probably eh, my least favorite in the Gears of War series, but I still enjoyed uh, the story in it. I definitely like the uh, Gears of War 1, 2, and 3 uh, the best, but I would still say get Judgment if you haven't ever played it before. You can get it very cheap these days. Uh, Mass Effect 3, which I loved. Of course, you know, there was that tragic, you know controversial ending so they had to change it up but uh definitely was still a great uh trilogy i'd recommend checking out fantasy star universe this is an awesome action rpg game by uh, sega very fun title uh the walking dead telltale series awesome game has an amazing story i'd recommend all of them got the first uh one and i've also got the second season which is awesome great titles I uh, love Dynasty Warriors. I like Gundam, and they combine the two, so I had to have these. So I have Dynasty Warriors Gundam 1, Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2, and Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3. So, three awesome games. Uh, next up here is Stranglehold. This is a collector's edition. Awesome game. I played this demo like 20 times in a row. I just could not get enough of it. Loved it so much. I had to go out and buy one. You get to do slow down with the gun shooting and stuff very very cool title i would definitely uh, recommend checking this out you can get it very cheap and it's very fun turok was a very fun first person shooter uh dance masters for connect you star 2 in the movies would not recommend that to anybody burnout revenge red faction gorilla this is definitely a hidden gem uh tom clancy's ghost recon advanced fire warfighter number one heavy fire shattered spear Borderlands 2, which is awesome. Quake 4, such a classic on the system. Love this game. Dirt 2. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Super Street Fighter 4, the arcade edition. Battle Stations Midway. The original Darksiders, such a great game. NBA Live uh, 2007, I prefer the NBA 2K series over live. Uh, Dark. Enemy Front. The King of Fighters uh, 12, World Series of Poker, Tournament of Champions 2007 edition, Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage 2, Prince of Persia, great title, and this was a Halo 3 Essentials that came with the Legendary Edition, uh, Condemned 2 Bloodshot, such an awesome uh, first person shooter which you actually don't have many guns in the game, you have to use uh, pipes and weapons and stuff and block and battling with creatures and men and crazy bears. It's an awesome game. I definitely recommend getting it. Deus Ex Human Revolution was great. The second Crackdown, such an awesome game. I'm looking forward to Crackdown 3. Quantum Theory. Lego Indiana Jones and the Kung Fu Panda Combo Pack. Uh, Sleeping Dogs, such an awesome game. Plays just like Grand Theft Auto games. Very fun. Recommend this one. Rock Band 2, Stuntman Ignition, Mercenaries, World in Flames. This is the second one. Awesome game. Definitely recommend this. I've got uh, two copies of that. Castlevania 2, Lords of Shadow. Great title. This is Red Dead Redemption, the Game of the Year edition, which has the expansion pack and DLC. Golden Axe Beast Rider, Resident Evil Revelation. This was a fun game. Devil May Cry, Rock Band, the Country Track Pack, Max Payne 3, NCAA 2007 Football, Madden 2011, Red Faction Armageddon, another awesome title. 
Uh, Bullet Witch, this is definitely an interesting uh, game I would recommend checking out. Blazing Angels, uh, Squadges of World War II, the original Kane and Lynch Deadman, uh, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts Standalone Edition, Tom Clancy's End War, Need for Speed Carbon, and Burnout Paradise. One of my favorite racing games of all time. So awesome. They recently did a remastered version of this on PS4 and Xbox One. That is awesome. Definitely would recommend grabbing that. Next up we have Blackwater. Just Dance 3. My wife and my son love the Just Dance games. Nailed, which is an ATV racing game. Bioshock Infinite. Third one in the series. Awesome game. I would recommend that. Kingdom, of, Kingdom Under Fire. Circle of Doom. Forza 2 Motorsport. Such a classic Fable the Journey, Battle of Fantasia, Dark Void, NHL 2009, Victorious Time to Shine. I wouldn't recommend that game to anybody. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and this is the gold edition. A very expensive title now because this contains the eight DLC characters that were delisted from Xbox Live due to some uh, licensing issues that they had. So the only way to get these is to buy this gold edition, and it usually commands like 40 or 50 bucks. Great title, though. I would recommend getting it, even if you just get the regular version. Uh, Tiger Woods 2008, which I love the Tiger Woods game. They're great golf games. Decca Sports Freedom. Uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong. That was a fun game. Need for Speed Most Wanted. This is my original copy I got a week before the console launched, and I still have it. Uh, probably my absolute favorite Need for Speed game of all time. Love this game. I've had it since it launched in 2005, and this is still my original copy in great uh, condition. Love that game. Would recommend it to anybody. Uh, Final Fantasy 13 2. Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Uh, Laura Croft Tomb Raider Legends, such a great game. I remember when this originally launched, they were having issues with it deleting people's saves, but they released a patch and fixed it. But that was definitely a thing that scared people right early on with this, is they didn't want to play it because they were worried it was going to delete save files. Uh, Jimmy Johnson's Anything with an Engine. This is a unique racing game where you can race on lawnmowers, even a recliner, go-karts, golf carts, just all kinds of weird stuff. It looked really cool, so I had to pick it up. Uh, Time Shift, such an awesome game, and this one came with a bonus uh, behind-the-scenes DVD, which is a really good game. Uh, Superman Returns, there's not very many good Superman games out there, but this is one of them. It's an open-world Superman game, very fun, several different villains and stuff, and the voice acting is actually not too bad, and I would recommend this because there's not a lot of Superman games, but this one is awesome. Child of Eden, Forza Motorsport 3, and Forza Motorsport Four, some awesome games in the Forza series. Morph X, Hellboy, The Science of Evil, awesome game. Def Jam Rapstar, Binary Domain, which plays like a Gears of War game. Resonance of Fate, an RPG. Guitar Heroes, Warriors of Rock. Crisis 2, my favorite of the three Crisis games. Love the story. This is the Fallout 3 add-on that had the Broken Steel and Point Lookout DLC. Tomb Raider Anniversary. Dark Souls, awesome game. Very, very tough, but would definitely recommend it. If you like Demon Souls on the PS3, you would definitely like the Dark Souls series. I recommend all of them. Minute to Win It, Guitar Hero 3, Dishonored, Project Gotham Racing 3, Chrome Hounds. This used to be an amazing game you could play online. Unfortunately, they shut the servers down, and the single player content is like six missions that are basically tutorials so you really can't enjoy this game now that it's not online but it was a fun game when it originally launched lucha libre heroes dale ring aragon that was a fun game mafia 2 was awesome uh the red dead redemption this is undead nightmare uh, expansion kingdoms of amalur reckoning awesome game madagascar carts like a mario kart type clone need for speed undercover Beowulf the game, awesome. I definitely recommend this as a hidden gem. Especially if you love the movie, you'll like the game. NHL 12 and Samurai Warriors 2, which is awesome. My favorite in the Samurai Warrior series. Rock Revolution. Soul Calibur 4 is awesome. You get to play as Yoda in the 360 version. And I think the PS3 version, you get to play as Darth Vader. The Witcher 2 Assassin of King, such an awesome title. Velvet Assassin. Fight Night Round 3. Blazing Angels 2, Secret Missions of World War II. Battlefield 3 is awesome. Transformers Re Revenge of the Fallen is awesome. Truth or Lies, Puss in Boots, Aki Katana, Supremacy MMA, 
Silent Hill Homecoming, one of my least favorite in the series. I did beat it and get all the endings, but I uh, did not like the direction they did with that one. Uh, Silent Hill HD Collection, this has an each-day remake of Silent Hill 2 and 3. It uh, does have some uh, glitches and graphical issues with it, but I definitely would still recommend picking up very fun games. Lego Rock Band. Enemy Territories Quake Wars, that's a classic. Top Spin 2. Fallout 3, Game of the Year Edition has all the DLC. Love Fallout 3. Open Season. Uh, Star Trek is actually a fun Star Trek game. I definitely would recommend that one. NHL 10. Madden 12. Encla uh, en Enslaved uh, Odyssey to the West. Storm Rise as an RTS. It's really interesting. And Midnight Club Los Angeles Complete Edition has all the DLC. It's a Platinum Hits version. Black Eyed Peas The Experience. Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena. You guys will start seeing some of the doubles I have here now at the end. Perfect Dark Zero, I've got two of those. Two Worlds 2, I've got two of those. A Ghostbusters a video game, awesome game. I also have the GameStop exclusive version and a regular version. It is basically Ghostbusters 3. Highly recommend this. It's starting to become pricey. It's going up to 25 30 40 bucks a copy. Uh, definitely get this game on any of the consoles you can. It's very fun. I love it. Uh, Destroy All Humans 2, Path of Fear and Love This Game. I actually have two. Don't even know how I got that. Uh, Sacred 2, one of my favorite games on the 360. I have the GameStop pre-order edition. My brother and I put in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours into this over many different characters. Loved playing it uh, online. I also have uh, another version my brother gave me. Uh, two copies of Resident Evil 5. Such an awesome title. Uh, two Human. I've got two copies of that. Another great game. Army of Two, I actually have two copies of this. Did not even realize I had two until I did uh, this video. So that was really cool. Uh, Godfather Two is awesome. Transformers Fall of Cybertron, such an awesome game. Body Count. Uh, Spider-Man Three. This is a pre-order bonus for uh, original Mass Effect. UAF Championship uh, Soccer 2006 to 2007. On to the last few here. Condemn Criminal Origins, that's awesome. Uh, original Dead Island, which I actually have two copies of, great title. Dragon's Dogma, love this game. I actually have a brand new and sealed one and an open copy. I also have Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, which is got extra content the original Dragon's Dogma didn't have. Definitely recommend this version, very cool game. Uh, two copies of Transformers War for Cybertron, awesome game. ACDC Live Rock Band Track Pack, somehow I got two copies. Uh, Crisis 3, I have two copies of that. Conan game, I have two copies. Awesome, awesome game. Definitely recommend this one. It's very violent and brutal. It's got naked chicks in it. Great story. You get to play as Conan, who's a badass. I would highly recommend getting the Conan series. It's a great game. Get the game. You'll love it. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, which I have two copies. I got another one because I wanted to get one with the steel, or steel, but geez, with the slip cover. So that was really cool to get. Uh, Ninja Blade, and I also have the Singapore edition, which is really cool. And I do like to have imports sometimes, so I grabbed that one. I have two copies of Fallout on New Vegas. One is brand new and sealed. The other one came with my collector's edition. I have two copies of Far Cry 2, which I got one for my brother. I absolutely love the Far Cry series, and number two is one of my favorites. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance and a Forza 2 Motorsport Double Pack. I actually got two of those. Last few of the regular games here. We have Thor, God of Thunder, Transformers Devastation, awesome Transformers game. This is... Uh, PopCap Arcade 2 has three classic uh, uh, Xbox Live Arcade games. Very cool. Just got this recently. The Hitman HD Trilogy has three classic um, Hitman games redone in HD for the 360. Has an art booklet and all kinds of stuff. And I was able to download the DLC bonus demo of Hitman Absolution called the Sniper Challenge. Very cool. I've got two copies of Eternal Sonata and two copies of Madden 2009. All right, guys, we're going to pause here for just a second, and then we'll start going over my collector's editions. All right, so now we got moved over here. Let's go over my collector's edition. I have the special edition for SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. This was a GameStop and EB Games exclusive. Very cool. Alan Wake collector's edition. I love the Alan Wake game. It's one of my favorites. I had to find the collector's edition. It took me several years, but I finally tracked it down for a really good price. Awesome collector's edition. Uh, Dead Space 2 collector's edition. This is awesome. I love the game. So happy to finally get the collector's edition. I'd love to get the first one, but it's very, very expensive. Uh, this is the Modern Warfare 2. It's supposed to have a steel book for it. Unfortunately, I don't have it, but I do have the art book with it. And I have the regular copy of the game. Very good title. 
Madden 2009. This is a 20-year collector's edition. Really cool. You also get a bonus, like, uh, Head Coach 2009 game. You know, they're not the best. I just uh, got that because it was a gift for my brother. Uh, Halo Reach. Awesome game. This is, like, the collector's edition. There was also a legendary edition. Collector's edition of Gears of War 1. Love that game. Halo Wars. A limited edition is awesome. Had the Halo Wars 3 uh, collector's edition. Devil May Cry 4 Collector's Edition, which is also has a bonus DVD. Dragon Age Origins Collector's Edition had this since uh, launch day. Sniper Ghost Warrior Steelbook. Splinter Cell Double Agent Collector's Edition. Gears of War 2 Limited Edition. I have both of the big box Scenic games. They're very fun party games. Definitely recommend them. I have the Collection Edition of Fallout New Vegas. Got that at Best Buy on launch day. I have two copies of Splinter Cell Conviction Collector's Edition. was very disappointed that the credit card as usb drive was broken all the copies ship broken so you can never get the content which is very disappointing mass effect 2 collector's edition elder scrolls 4 oblivion my second favorite behind elder scrolls 3 morrowind killer is dead collector's edition enchanted arms which came with a graphic novel and a Ex human revolution the augmented edition very cool and the last one uh here that i'm going to show you is my aliens vs predator hunter edition now, I do have some other ones. I have the Ninja Gaiden 3 uh, Collector's Edition. I have the Collector's Edition for Skyrim. And I also have the Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition. And I've got two copies of the Aliens vs. Predator Collector's Edition. Those ones are on the game wall. And I didn't really want to take them down for this video, but I do have them. So, there you guys go. Here is a look at my updated Xbox 360 collection. Uh, not counting uh, doubles or variants, I have 558 Xbox 360 titles in my collection. I mean, here's the big mess from that video. I mean, you can just see it's, it takes up a lot of space. I have to get these all back on the shelf after I finish filming this video, but I absolutely loved the Xbox 360, one of my favorite consoles of all time, right behind the original Xbox. The Xbox and Xbox 360, I own just... Tons of titles. I almost own like 1,800 titles between the two consoles combined. I mean, it's just crazy uh, how many uh, games I have for it. I love uh, the Xbox. Such a great console. Highly recommend collecting for the Xbox 360. So if you guys uh, have an Xbox 360 collection video and you'd like to share it with me, please do so in the comment. I love checking out collection videos. Love to see what you guys have. Let me know if you guys saw any titles you liked, titles you didn't like, titles you think I should pick up. Definitely love to hear from you guys. All right, guys. Thank you again for watching. Taking a look at my updated Xbox 360 collection for 2018. It's really grown since I did my original uh, collection video, which actually the first four collection videos I did were of my Xbox 360 collection. And that was several, several years ago, like five, six years ago. And my collection has really grown since then. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a wonderful day and sleepy. We'll see you guys next time.